Welcome to Dubrovnik, Croatia. A city where history, culture, and natural beauty converge to create a magical experience unlike any other. Dubrovnik, often referred to as the Pearl of the Adriatic, is more than just a beautiful destination, it's a living, breathing storybook waiting to be explored. In today's adventure, we'll unravel the best things to do in Dubrovnik, dive into its rich history, and discover why it's a must-visit on your travel bucket list. Think of Dubrovnik as a grand, ancient library. Every street is a book, every corner a chapter, and every stone a page filled with tales of valor, intrigue, and charm. Whether you're a history buff, a Game of Thrones fan, or simply someone who loves stunning vistas and serene beaches, Dubrovnik has something for everyone. So, fasten your seatbelts, or should I say, tighten your laces, because we're about to embark on a journey through time and beauty. Let's start at the heart of Dubrovnik, the magnificent old town. Entering the old town through Pilegate feels like stepping into another era. These impressive stone walls have protected the city since the 16th century, and walking through them is like being transported back to a time when Dubrovnik was a powerful maritime republic. First up, let's talk about the most iconic feature of Dubrovnik, its majestic city walls. Walking along these ancient fortifications is like stepping back in time. These walls, which have stood since the 13th century, offer a stunning panorama of terracotta rooftops, sparkling azure waters, and the lush greenery that surrounds the city. Stretching almost two kilometers, the walls encircle the entire old town, providing not only protection but also breathtaking views at every turn. It's easy to see why Dubrovnik was chosen as a filming location for Game of Thrones. In fact, fans of the series will recognize many of the city's landmarks, including the famous Pile Gate and Fort La Virginac, as settings for King's Landing. Imagine standing atop these ancient fortifications, feeling the sea breeze, and gazing at the terracotta rooftops below. For just a small fee, you can walk the entire length of the walls. It's a two-hour journey that will leave you in awe. But remember, comfortable shoes are a must. Speaking of Game of Thrones, if you're a true fan, you can embark on a dedicated Game of Thrones walking tour. These tours take you to all the key filming locations and provide fascinating insights into how the magic of the series was brought to life. But the walls of Dubrovnik are just the beginning. For a bird's eye view of this stunning city, hop on the Dubrovnik cable car. In just a few minutes, you'll be whisked from the city center to the top of Mount SRD. At the summit, you'll be rewarded with panoramic views that stretch as far as the eye can see. On a clear day, you can see the islands dotting the Adriatic Sea and the dramatic coastline that makes this region so special. It's the perfect spot for a selfie or just to take a moment to soak in the beauty. Once you're at the top, don't rush back down. There's a fantastic restaurant where you can enjoy a meal with a view, and if you're a history enthusiast, the Museum of the Croatian War of Independence is a must-visit. Feeling adventurous? Try the zip line at the top of Mount SRD. It's a thrilling way to see the city from a new perspective and get your adrenaline pumping. Now, let's head back down to the city and explore the old town itself. Walking through the limestone-paved streets, you'll find yourself surrounded by stunning Gothic, Renaissance, and Baroque architecture. Every corner of this UNESCO World Heritage Site tells a story, from the Grand Sponza Palace to the elegant Rector's Palace. Don't forget to visit the Franciscan Monastery and its impressive library, which houses over 30,000 volumes, including some incredibly rare manuscripts. And for a touch of local charm, stroll through the bustling market at Gunduluk Square, where you can sample fresh produce and local delicacies. And let's not forget the rich history that permeates every stone in this city. Dubrovnik's story is one of resilience and pride. Founded in the 7th century, it became a major maritime power in the Mediterranean, known for its diplomacy and impressive fortifications. Despite earthquakes and wars, Dubrovnik has always risen from the ashes, stronger and more beautiful than before. Its inclusion as a UNESCO World Heritage Site is a testament to its historical and cultural significance. Now, let's set sail from Dubrovnik's harbor to one of the most enchanting islands in the Elephidi archipelago, Kolosep. This car-free island is just a short boat ride away and offers a perfect escape from the hustle and bustle of the city. Kolosep, known locally as Kalamoda, is a haven for nature lovers. 
With its pristine beaches, lush pine forests, and crystal clear waters, it's the ideal spot for a day of relaxation and exploration. One of the island's highlights is the Blue Cave, a natural wonder that can be reached by kayak or small boat. Inside, you'll be mesmerized by the iridescent blue light reflecting off the water, creating an almost otherworldly experience. On Colisep, you can also kayak through sea caves, snorkel in pristine waters, or simply relax on the beach. And for the adventurous, there are hiking trails that offer stunning views of the island and the surrounding sea. After a day on Colisep, head back to Dubrovnik and enjoy a meal at one of the many seaside restaurants. Fresh seafood is a must-try here, and dining with a view of the Adriatic as the sun sets is a memory you'll cherish forever. Dubrovnik is also a fantastic port of call for those on a Mediterranean cruise. Its well-preserved old town and convenient harbor make it an ideal stop for exploring Croatia's rich history and culture. Located just 3 kilometers from the old town, it's a quick taxi or shuttle ride away. And trust me, you won't want to miss a single moment in this magical city. But what if you're traveling on a budget? Dubrovnik might seem like a luxurious destination, but there are plenty of ways to experience this city without breaking the bank. Let's dive into how you can make Dubrovnik budget-friendly. First off, consider visiting during the shoulder seasons, spring or fall. Not only will you avoid the peak summer crowds, but you'll also find that accommodation and flights are significantly cheaper. Plus, the weather is still pleasantly warm. Speaking of accommodation, skip the expensive hotels and opt for local goosthouses or hostels. Many of these places offer cozy, comfortable stays at a fraction of the cost, and you'll get to experience authentic Croatian hospitality. Eating out can also add up quickly, but there are ways to enjoy delicious food on a budget. Look for canobas, which are traditional Croatian eateries, offering hearty local dishes at reasonable prices. Also, don't be afraid to explore the local markets and supermarkets for fresh, affordable produce and snacks. For sightseeing, take advantage of the Dubrovnik card. This pass grants you access to several museums and galleries, as well as unlimited use of public transportation. It also includes a walk along the city walls, which is a must-do activity in Dubrovnik. And remember, some of the best experiences in Dubrovnik are completely free. Wander the historic streets of the old town, relax on the public beaches, and hike up to Fort Lavrgenac for stunning views without spending a dime. With a bit of planning, Dubrovnik can be an affordable destination that doesn't compromise on experiences. Embrace the charm of this ancient city and discover its wonders without stretching your wallet. Dubrovnik is more than just a beautiful facade. It's a city brimming with stories, from the ancient walls that protected it from invaders to the modern-day legends that have been filmed within its streets. And let's not forget the rich history that permeates every stone in this city. Dubrovnik's story is one of resilience and pride. Founded in the 7th century, it became a major maritime power in the Mediterranean, known for its diplomacy and impressive fortifications. Despite earthquakes and wars, Dubrovnik has always risen from the ashes, stronger and more beautiful than before. Its inclusion as a UNESCO World Heritage Site is a testament to its historical and cultural significance. Now, let's slow down and take a more intimate look at Dubrovnik with a walking tour of the old town. This isn't just a sightseeing tour, it's a journey through the daily lives of the people who call this place home. Wandering through the narrow lanes of the old town, you'll feel the pulse of Dubrovnik. These ancient streets, known as Stradens and Kale, are where the heart of the city beats strongest. Let's start our walking tour at Straden, Dubrovnik's main street. This limestone-paved thoroughfare is the city's central artery, flanked by shops, cafes, and historic buildings. But the real magic happens when you venture off Straden into the maze of narrow alleys. These alleys, with their steep steps and tiny squares, offer a glimpse into everyday life in Dubrovnik. Look up, and you'll see colorful laundry fluttering in the breeze, strung between the windows of stone houses. It's a charming, lived-in feel that makes the city so endearing. Each alley has its own unique character. Some are lined with vibrant bougainvillea, while others are shaded by grapevines. You might stumble upon a hidden courtyard, a cozy cafe, or a local artisan's workshop. It's like uncovering little secrets with every turn. Take a moment to enjoy a cup of coffee at one of these local cafes. 
The aroma of freshly brewed coffee mingling with the salty sea air is a sensory delight. And don't hesitate to strike up a conversation with the locals, they're always happy to share stories and tips. As you continue your stroll, you'll come across some of Dubrovnik's lesser-known but equally fascinating sites. The Church of St. Blaise, dedicated to the city's patron saint, is a Baroque masterpiece with stunning stained glass windows. Or visit the Rector's Palace, a blend of Gothic, Renaissance, and Baroque architecture, now housing the Cultural History Museum. Don't miss the Dominican Monastery, a serene oasis in the heart of the city. Its cloister, with beautiful garden and Gothic arches, offers a peaceful respite from the bustling streets outside. And for a truly unique experience, visit the local markets. Gundulic Square hosts a vibrant morning market where you can buy fresh produce, local cheeses, and handmade crafts. It's a great place to pick up a souvenir or two and support local artisans. Now, let's head back to the waterfront. As you exit the old town through Plos Gate, you'll find yourself at the bustling old port. This historic harbor is not only picturesque but also a hub of activity. From here, you can take a boat tour around the city walls, offering a unique perspective of Dubrovnik from the sea. Or, if you're feeling adventurous, join a kayaking tour that explores hidden caves and secluded beaches along the coast. For a more relaxing option, spend some time at Banj Beach, just a short walk from the old port. With its stunning views of the city walls and the island of Lokrum, it's the perfect place to unwind after a day of exploring. As the sun sets, Dubrovnik transforms into a magical wonderland. The city lights reflect off the marble streets, creating a shimmering spectacle that's truly enchanting. It's the perfect time to enjoy a romantic dinner or a leisurely stroll through the old town. But our journey doesn't end here. If you've fallen in love with Dubrovnik, why not continue your adventure with a visit to Sarajevo, the vibrant capital of Bosnia and Herzegovina? Known for its intriguing history, diverse culture, and stunning architecture, Sarajevo is just a short trip away and offers a whole new set of experiences waiting to be discovered. So, if you're ready for your next adventure, click on our video about Sarajevo and uncover the hidden gems of this fascinating city. Until then, thank you for joining us on this journey through Dubrovnik. Safe travels, and see you in the next video. Click here to watch my Sarajevo adventure, and don't forget to subscribe for more travel inspiration.